I'm lucky enough as a maritime warfare officer to interface with all of the different departments on a day-to-day -day basis. So from the science that goes into our communication systems, uh, the technology in our sonar suite, the engineering behind the propulsion system, and the maths that we use to take that sonar data and turn it into useful information. We use it all on a day-to-day -day basis. So STEM sustains life on a submarine, I guess, in two main ways. Number one, in the day-to-day -day use of the science behind our sonar suite so that we can track contacts so we know where we are in the world when we're down deep, but also in all the technology and effort that went into building the submarines and the future submarines uh, to make sure even small things like that a sewage system will work down deep uh, that keeps us safe on a day-to-day -day basis. As an acoustic warfare analyst, STEM is very important. Without each of those components, uh, our primary role is to use technology to detect, track, classify and identify noises that we hear in the ocean. So my department uses science, technology, engineering and maths on a daily basis for plan maintenance routines on the batteries, the propulsion system, motors and anything else electrical and mechanical that may require the attention on a daily, weekly and monthly basis. STEM saves lives on board Collins class submarine in a number of ways such as using the batteries to power air revitalisation systems which will help save and minimise oxygen use on board a Collins class submarine. STEM is of critical importance to keeping us at sea because Without all of the science and engineering, not that we just do on board, but what's been done ahead of time in building the submarine, in maintaining the submarine, in sustaining us at sea, uh, we couldn't get out there and do our jobs.